They also have a lot of business to take yes, care of this offseason as we take a look at a very long list uh, of notable free agents in our FAs. Yeah, I mean, that is a long list. And, uh, I mean, wow, I guess the top with Meyer and Bratt, that's going to be interesting. They can qualify Timu Meyer. You can see it's a pretty big number at the bottom there, $10 million to qualify him for one more year, and then he becomes an unrestricted free agent after that. They have to see if they can work on a long-term deal with him. Yasha Bratt is an RFA. I mean, can they do a long-term deal with him? They've had some contentious conversations with him on different contracts in the past. Severson and Graves on defense. I think Severson is out. Uh, I don't think he'll be coming back. I think he's just going to be worth too much on the open market. Ryan Graves is very, very interesting because he's someone that is, again, teams need defensemen, big, long, lanky defensemen. Uh, he might be looking for a multi-year commitment at a higher dollar range. And at the bottom of that list, Mikey McLeod played very well. So good. For the, for the, uh, for the New Jersey Devils. Kind of, uh, I think he's someone that could really become a really good third center somewhere. He was kind of a fourth line center, but he might be able to be even a third line center. He's got great speed. He's a former first round pick. So he's someone that that'll be an interesting discussion as well. So they've got Tommy Fitzgerald's got a lot of work to do. Yeah, but those that doesn't mean that those guys are all gone either. Yeah, no, can, no. He's got to pick Most and of them will be back. Yeah, and all of that salary up there is also salary that they can use because they've yeah. used it this year. And I yeah. think the fact that they did as well as they did this year, they look like they were having fun and young group of guys, yeah. they play a fun brand of hockey. It's going to make players want to come back there. So that'll, that'll help anyway. The players certainly aren't going to be looking to exit unless they don't have a choice. Well, Eric Holla said as much, right? His post-game comments, I thought, were, were really interesting. He talked about how great the group is there, how much fun he had this year, how badly he wants to be back, how he thinks it's a special mix there. And Eric Holla has been on some competitive teams in the yeah. past, and it, it felt like a very genuine sentiment uh, from him after the game last night, and I think that is a great indication of what they're building uh, in that room with their core players. He's a great fit there, too, because they want to play a fast game. He's a fast player. He's got great speed. I think he was a good fit. That was one of those trades that really worked out great for everybody because Holla comes over from Boston. Great fit in New Jersey. Zaka gets to go to a fresh start with the Bruins. I thought he played very well all year with Boston. So one of those deals that really worked out for everybody. And in the end, you're right. A lot of these guys are going to stay, but they're going to have to make some decisions. I mean, what do they do with Meyer, right? Yeah. Do they just qualify him and then try to work something out during the year? Because you know how that goes, Devin. You've been in those locker rooms. Now, the guys don't necessarily, we always hear, they don't talk to each other about business, but everybody's aware of what the situation is there with him. So, can they keep him long term? Well, I don't is, know. Is Timo a $10 million guy? Yeah. Or, do they, or if See, they want to sign him longer term, like that's a, that's a huge jump. So, but, if they want to sign him longer term, do they sign him? For less than like I would think that they're looking to probably sign him at around eight times eight. They might be willing to give him that max term, right, at about eight million or somewhere in that neighborhood. Timu Meyer might be looking at it and saying, you know, I would like eight times nine or eight times nine and a half, or maybe I think I am a ten million dollar player. So that's the negotiation between Tommy Fitzgerald and Claude Lemieux, who is the agent for Timu Meyer, and that is a that is a significant conversation. The Devils gave up assets to get. Meyer, and I think the Devils, you want to keep the player, but at the end of the day, at what cost? I mean, they got a good contract with Jack Hughes moving forward. They got a good contract with Nico Heischer moving forward. They are going to have some other guys that are going to have to pay more down the road, namely Luke Hughes. So, I mean, that's the dollars are what matters in terms of the cap because it's great to have all nice, all these great players, but it's hard to keep them all under the cap. Well, I'm glad that's not my job. I know, that's right? All I can say. I'm just listening to you talk. Yeah. Like, gosh, hey, I got like ask Doobie, absolute headache. I got to ask Doobie quick about the goaltenders because Vanacek had a great year. I know everybody. Hates I mean, you know we're supposed to go to break. I know. I don't care. Right. Uh, Vanacek <laughs> had a great year. Thirty. I was going to say something, but I was like, oh, we got to go to break. Yeah, but just quick on the goalies there. Well, I think it's exciting um, yeah. with 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 uh, Schmidt coming in. Like this is a this is an exciting thing for the team. And now you got. I mean, I think it's a no brainer with Vanacek and Schmidt next year. And and Schmid playing more. I mean, this wasn't this wasn't a fluke. Yeah. I love the way that he played. I love I loved what he showed in there. And I think this is a great situation. You're going to continue. Vanacek had an incredible year. He yeah. just couldn't. He, he didn't have a good playoffs. Yeah. But Schmid did. And this is an opportunity. You go into next year and don't and you don't necessarily just hand it to Vanacek and say you're going to play 60 games. You let them both play, and if Schmidt continues to do what he was doing, and he takes over, then he takes over. And Blackwood, good, good. probably on the out, you know. I got to new imagine opportunity, I, new opportunity. I, I, I don't, yeah, I don't see after that playoffs why you would look at anything other than than a check and Schmidt as okay. your two goalies next year.